Jeez. So guys, welcome to another video. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. I am, um, I feel really good about doing videos again. It's, it's such a good feeling to do videos. I don't know why. I just get so excited sometimes. I love it. <laughs> so guys, um, this video is a little bit personal, but it's something I feel like I should make because of my personal struggles with, with the bat, with my personal struggles with anxiety. I think it's important for people to talk about it. Should never push it away and say it's nothing because anxiety is not nothing. It is something very real and it, it's a, it's a terrible disease and so many people have it. Some people have it worse than others. I'm not going to rate mine compared to other people's because for everybody it's different and their personal struggles and their personal fights are their own. So just like the last video, you know, everything I say is my own subjective truth and what, what I have experienced in my life. So please, if it does not fit you or your type of anxiety, just understand that this is only from my experience. There's, there's plenty of people who have worse or different types. So let me explain. Since I was a kid, I have experienced a lot of things that even I know no kid should experience. It's something I wouldn't wish upon anybody, any kid, but I am happy with my life. I love life. One thing that helps me with my anxiety, and like I said in the beginning of the video, for everybody it's going to be different. For me, it's going to be one thing. For somebody else, it's going to be a complete other. The number one thing during a big flare-up is to never be alone. You know, you need to eventually find the root cause of your anxiety and treat it yourself. But when you're having a big flare up, and I've experienced it a lot, when you're having a big flare up, don't be alone. If you feel scared and lonely, be with people. And you'd be surprised of all the people who are willing to be with you and make sure you're okay. Another thing that helps me cope with it and that's helping me cope right now is doing videos. When I thought about making a video, it got me excited and I completely forgot about my anxiety. I completely forgot about my chest pain. For me, having to do a video makes a mission for myself to create an objective and to fulfill an objective, to be, to be productive. And that can be something that can help you if it's getting involved in your work or reading a book. You know, starting something, completing something has always been something that can help a lot of people. It can take your mind off of current situations. And I love doing that. I love the thought of doing this video and how I'm gonna edit it, what I'm gonna do to it, and then seeing the final completed video. It, it's something that I love doing. Something else that can help is just doing things, being outside, enjoying the warm weather now that it's springtime, go bowling with friends, do stuff, besides sit around and think. Take your mind off of things that are causing you to think. It can, you can benefit from being distracted, but in a good way. And one way that you can really, really improve your anxiety and depression and many other mental disorders is to simply get healthy. You know, every day with the food we eat and the drinks we drink, there's many toxins in it all. So detox yourself, get healthy, get away from fast food, be on healthy diets because it can boost your mental health significantly. And last thing of all this is don't be afraid to reach out to people who care about you and who you care about because we can't be alone, especially during times that we really, really need somebody. Don't be afraid to reach out to somebody, to reach out to people that you care about. 
And also don't be afraid to go get checked out by a doctor if you think that something is wrong with you. I don't believe in medicine, pharmaceutical medicine, to treat anxiety or physical conditions. But if there is something wrong with you, you need to get it diagnosed before you can start your treatment journey or pharmaceutical treatment if that's the approach you want to go. And I'm not trying to create a, like a comment battle on natural versus pharmaceutical. However, yeah, I'm just going to keep it at that. So guys, just remember, anxiety is a mental disease and it can be treated and helped. There's many other ways besides what I mentioned, but these are things that help me. And I'm sure I'll find other things to talk about too. We can call this dealing with anxiety part one. So yeah, that's it for the video. I'm sorry if it was a little boring, but it's something I felt like I needed to make because there's so many people who are dealing with this mental disease and they don't have to because there is ways out of it. And the best way out of it is to take control of your own mind because after all, it is your brain inside your head. You control it. So yeah, um, well, that's it for the video. So, well, goodbye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I plan on making other videos besides videos like this. This is just some stuff I'm doing for right now. But I do have big plans this summer and I hope you guys stick along and watch this journey unfold. Bye.